Number 32. Calculate the mole fraction of each solute and solvent. And then we have letter B. So we have 0 0.86 grams of NaCl in 1.00 times 10 to the second grams of water. A solution of sodium chloride for intravenous injection. Ooh. Either way, we have to find the mole fraction of the solute and the solvent. Now, in general, the solute is always the smaller amount, generally it's a solid, that is always being dunked into the solvent, which is the liquid media, and together you make one big happy solution. Now, since we have sodium chloride, so we have table salt, that is being placed in water, right? Can you envision taking a amount of salt and putting it into water? Salt water would be the total solution, but the NaCl would be the solute, and the water, the liquid media, is going to be the solvent. So we just have to find out the mole fraction for both NaCl and for the water. And we know that water is the chemical formula of H2O. Now, what is a mole fraction? Well, it's this formula right here. A mole fraction, just like any other fraction, is always a part divided by a whole or a total amount. This x value is the general unit for a mole fraction. So if you start seeing like x equals, that's just a mole fraction. And it's a mole fraction for each individual molecule or a compound. So if I wanted to find the mole fraction of NaCl, I would have to find the moles of that compound and divide it by the total number of moles in the whole entire solution. But the thing is, is that mole, 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 gram, gram. <laughs> um, we don't have any of the moles. So the first thing we have to do is we have to take our 0 0.86 grams of NaCl and convert it into moles of NaCl. And then we have to do the same for the water, right? Because we got to get everything in moles. So 1.00 times 10 to the second grams of the H2O. And I want to go to moles of H2O. Well, how do we go from grams to moles? Well, that's down here, back to basics, right? Anytime we want to go from grams to moles of the same substance, which I just called A, grams to moles, we divide by the molar mass. So I just have to get the molar mass of NaCl and H2O. So NaCl, uh, looking on the periodic table, Na is 22.99. You can round that to 23 if you want. And then I'm going to add a chlorine, which is 35.45. 30, yeah, 35.45. So 22.99 plus 35.45. I get 58.44. So I'm going to take the 0.86 grams and divide it by the 58.44. That looks terrible. <laughs> that looks better. So I'm going to say 0.86 divided by this number. And I get 0 0.0147. That looks good to me. Now we have to do the same thing for the water. So water, I have two hydrogens. So I have to times this by the 1.008 plus one oxygen, which is 16. So 2.1, uh, two times, what am I doing? Two times, 1.008 plus 116, uh, 116 value, I get 18.016. So I'm just going to divide by 18.016. Second comma is the times 10 to the, so now all I have to do is just plug in the 2, divided by 18.016, and I get 
five, five, one. That looks good to me. Okay. So now if we start um, going for our mole ratios, right? We have the, not the mole ratio, but the mole fraction, right? I got X of the NaCl. So we could find out the mole fraction of NaCl and I could find the mole fraction of the H2O. These will both be equal to a fraction, obviously. And for the NaCl, mole of that compound goes on the top. So the moles that we just found was 0 0.0147, and the moles of the H2O was 5.551. But we still don't know the total number of moles in the solution. But if I know all my parts, I can add these numbers together and get the total moles. 0 0.01477 plus 5.551 is a total of 5.56577 total moles. And now I know that the denominator for both of them is going to be 5.56577. Uh, point zero, I just want to make sure that, oop, maybe we might have to adjust this a little bit because I think I was a little bit too seven happy and I added one extra seven, right? Point zero, one, four, seven plus, okay, five, six, five, seven. So we're just going to chop off that last seven. Oop. So chop off this, last sevens be gone. Now, we are ready to do the math. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually just put it in here. I think we have enough room. Okay, so. Um, there we go. So now let's get ready. The mole fraction of the NaCl is... 0 0.0147 divided by that total. So I get, I guess if I put this into scientific notation, we got two sig figs, right, for that one. So technically all these should be in two sig figs. So maybe 2.6 times 10 to the negative third. Mole fractions do not have any units. So you can either say 0 0.0026 or 2.6 times 10 to the negative third. And now we just have to find out what the mole fraction is of the water, AKA the solvent. So the mole fraction of H2O equals 5.551 divided by that number. And this one will just say zero point, oh boy, this is nine. Oh. I guess we'll put, I guess three sig figs for this one because technically there's three here. 997, and I think that should work because then when you add these two up, you should get a number equal to one. So if I take my point zero zero two six plus the point nine nine seven, I get very, 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 very close to number one, which means that basically we did this correct. So here are your mole fractions. There are no units and that's the end. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel um, and I hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe, be well, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.